Imagine standing there at the altar and you in front of your family and your friends and the pastor and your father is walking you down the aisle to your soon to be husband. He giving you away to your soon to be husband. The pastor tell y'all to exchange your vows, you know, and then he also tell you that to death do your part. Well, imagine six months later, death do your part is about to come. So you and your, your man, your husband is having an argument, right? And you tell him like, you know what? This whole six months, it ain't been nothing but pure hell. I want a divorce. And he like, okay, cool. Bet it up. So as you saying what you got to say to this so-called husband of yours that you want this divorce from, he goes into the bedroom and he ups the pistol on you. And not only when he up it on you, he hit you with it. And then you run as fast as you can to the bathroom because you know that your life is in mortal danger. So you lock the door and he at the door, banging on the door, boom, 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 boom. Let me in, open the door, open the door. And you tell him, no, no, leave me alone. I'm through with you. I'm through with you. And his 42 year old tale is telling you to open the door so he can do something bad to you. Now you trying to open the window and get out. Because you know if this man get in the bathroom, nine times out of ten, he's going to try to unalive you. And well, he kicks the door in. Boom! And now you looking at him. And he looking at you. And guess what he decides to do? He let off 15 shots. Hitting you all over your body. And your legs, your arms, your back your head, all over your body. 15 shots accounted for. And now you are unalive. You only been married to this man for six months. And he do this to you? Mm. Instead of y'all hearing it from me, I want y'all to listen to the news clipping. Tonight, court documents are shedding new light on a deadly shooting in Grand Rapids in which investigators believe is the result of domestic violence. It happened last week on Union Avenue Southeast near Oakdale, taking the life of a mother of three. News 8's Demetrius Sanders has the latest. Marcus Lofton is facing two different felonies for the death of his wife, Alicia. According to court documents, the killing happened one day after he was served divorce papers. On the morning of August 17th, Grand Rapids police responded to calls of an unresponsive woman with multiple gunshot wounds next to a home on Union Avenue Southeast near Oakdale. 42-year-old Marcus Lofton is charged with open murder and felony firearm for allegedly shooting and killing his wife Alicia Lofton in that incident. According to a probable cause affidavit, Marcus told investigators the day prior Alicia served him divorce papers and was selling the house. On the 17th, Marcus said an argument ensued where he grabbed Alicia's pistol that was found in a drawer. As he attempted to strike her, it went off. He then told police Alicia went into a room and locked the door. And after Marcus forced it open, Alicia was climbing out a window to exit the house. That's when Marcus says he shot her several times. At the time of the shooting, Marcus wasn't supposed to be in contact with Alicia due to a domestic violence arrest in May. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker says domestic violence is on the short list of crimes his office sees each day. Doesn't discriminate based on you know geographic area. Doesn't discriminate you know uh, in terms of socioeconomic. It's everywhere. In response to an increase in domestic violence cases, in 2022, $4 million of American Rescue Plan funding was set aside for Kent County's Domestic Violence Action Network. We're looking for the funding. We saw probably our highest level. I think we had five, five or six domestic violence homicides. 
In addition to establishing a domestic violence court in Kent County with the funding, another goal is a lethality review program for high-risk cases. Take a look at those basic cases we may get and still take a look at it and say, oh, this one may be a little bit more serious. we got to do a little more focus on. Victim advocates with the prosecutor's office have already started training on lethality review assessments. With the info that's collected, Becker says it can help direct resources. Whether it be the victim, maybe it's the defendant that needs more restrictions. Um, it's really responding individually to that case um, by getting that information. And Becker says it will take a holistic approach to address the issue of domestic violence in the community. It's not just a prosecutor's office. So we have Safe Haven, the Y, law enforcement. It's everybody that's trying to come together to really uh, make an impact on these types of cases. If Lofton is convicted, he could serve up to life in prison. In Grand Rapids, Demetrius Sanders, News 8. Better yet, we gonna let my man Eric J. Street News tell y'all his version of it. A 42-year-old man from Michigan have confessed to killing his wife after only being married for six months. The man told police she went to file for divorce yesterday and we got into an argument and I went into the bedroom and I grabbed my gun and I hit her with it. And I don't know how, but when I hit her, the gun went off. And she took out running towards the bathroom. And she locked herself in there. And I kept telling her, come out. Come out. Come out and talk to me. You making me mad. Open the door. And I just got tired of asking. So I broke the door down. And I seen her trying to escape through the window. So I shot her. I shot her like 15 times. I hit her in her head her back, her shoulders, her leg, her thigh. I was just mad. Family members of the woman have started a GoFundMe. Hey y'all, my boy Fleece Johnson that came out with the part one of part three of his books. Y'all make sure y'all go check out his book on Amazon. I'm gonna have the link pinned in the comment section. So y'all make sure y'all go check it out. Welcome to the Dante Show Network, where you get your daily fix of crazy stories presented to you by King Dante. Okay, YouTube family, we done reached 100K followers in two years. Now let's get to a million. Also, I charge $100 to promote your products, your business, or your social media channels. Email me. I'm going to have my email pinned in the comment section. If you want to become a guest on the Dante Show Network to tell a crazy story, make sure y'all hit that link pinned in the comment section for the stream yard. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.